Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I get my windowed screens to look like to look like this to this. All right, so as you guys can see, it is in windowed mode and there is no title bar in sight. So let's get into it. So you heard it first. If you're looking to maximize your screen real estate and achieve a clean, minimalistic look by removing the title bar from your Windows desktop, learn how in this quick and easy tutorial. Okay, guys. So to start, you guys are going to want to go to www.autohotkey.com and then you guys are want to go to download. So for some reason, the newest version didn't work for me. So I installed version 1.1 and it worked just fine for me. You're going to want to make sure it this downloads to your main drive as we're going to be injecting a script. It should automatically save to your main drive. So don't don't worry so once the program installs it's gonna open up then you can just exit it for now we're not gonna need it right now okay so once you guys are in the notepad you guys are gonna want to write this down don't worry I got you guys it's in the description so just go ahead and go copy and paste it easy lickety split okay so then the next thing is you guys are gonna want to go to file and then save and then I save this into my documents file name though you guys are gonna want to enter in this don't worry again check the description copy and paste it i got you guys okay so once you guys save this to your documents or whatever i already have it saved so i'm not going to save this again okay so the next thing you guys are going to want to go to is your files and then find out where you saved it to i have it saved as right here okay so i have it saved down here click on it and then right click and then you guys are going to want to go to open with auto hotkey so it's right here open and then it has the age so it says this for me just because i already have the script running already so it's just going to replace it i can literally click yes and it's just going to replace it again and you guys are going to see maybe like a small window come up and then open and close really fast but don't worry nothing's supposed to pop up that's just how it works so once it once that little window closes immediately the script is already running in the background and then it's easy enough as that okay so we brought my notion in as an example so i'm going to go ahead and lock it into place and if you guys want a video on how i added the borders to lock windows in i already have that tutorial up just go ahead and go check it down it's going to be in the description below okay so to make this work you're going to want to hold down the windows key and then left click and then as you guys see that removed the titles bar it should be as simple as that and then to revert it all you do is hold windows key and then right click and then as you guys can see it bring it right back it's really as simple as that it's not really hard at all and anytime um you guys restart the pc or fully shut down the pc you guys are just going to go to that file again and then just open with auto hockey and just do it all over again so that's why i usually just put my pc to sleep until it starts acting you know every like i like to restart it every uh, other day so you know it's really not that hard because once you you know just click on it it just automatically runs you don't even have to think about it again and it works perfectly and i love it it makes so many problems programs full screen like uh, video editors it makes them full screen i can run uh, my video editor completely full screen roblox you can make it completely full screen basically anything that has the titles bar that pops up and just makes it look you know um unesthetically pleasing or anything like that you can make it look good it makes it full screen and it fixes the problem so that's going to wrap up today's quick video if you enjoyed it or found it helpful please drop a like and a sub that would mean the world to me later